you have to be a contortionist uh, to have a shower and then also uh, to jump on the toilet awesome stay with Fano last night always good to be with Fano beautiful spot this Tairua and uh, so today we're making our way a bit of driving today to Kaha is the final destination uh, but we also have a bit of uh, laundry and some different things to do driving through these beautiful ranges through the gorge here it's pouring with rain outside and that's this is a moment when you're glad actually that you're not on a motorbike i'd be drenched on the bike right now loving the camper okay so we stopped in a town locally known as Pairo. so this is the other part of this um the twist of this place is the lemon part and the cool thing is just all around this town in public spaces uh you'll find lemon trees just planted everywhere loaded with lemons it's pretty cool so here we go lemon and pie raw only new zealand so about uh five or ten minutes out of pyro as you head south towards waihi is a little place called uh, Karangahaki this is a really beautiful little gorge uh, one of the reasons I want to just pause on this is like this is all free right this costs no money to come here uh, suspension bridge and and look at this it's beautiful man and so just New Zealand is a is a great place to visit uh, if you want to spend money, you know what, you can spend money. But a lot of the stuff we're doing on this trip, this is stuff's free. It's just because it's uh, here and it's beautiful and do it. Okay, so we've just walked about um, maybe a kilometre, not very far, and really easy walk. No danger involved. And uh, we've walked from the bottom car park up the Karangahaki Gorge which is this here and now we're on a bridge to nowhere nah but actually we're going in that tunnel there so we're about a third of the way through this tunnel freaky thing man there's, like, there's this hardcore breeze coming and it's not a hot one either it's actually quite cold but we're in it's raining outside so we've timed that perfectly So as you're going along, you get to a really dark part of the tunnel and it's a little bit scary. And if you're young, look out because we all float down here. We are coming towards the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, as the saying goes, we are heading out into the unknown. Trevor rating, Karangahaki Gorge Tunnel Walk, value for money, 5 out of 5, free of course, but it's actually really cool, if you're driving through from Pairoa to Waihi, it's definitely worth a go, and uh, yeah, I reckon it's just it's buzzy, it's just really cool. Back at the car park now, ready to get going, Windows Walk Loop, that's the one we've just done, about an hour, do it, it's awesome. Just behind me over here is the little sleepy town called Waihi. Again, it's a gold winding area. And if you just come and look over here, you'll see what used to be one of New Zealand's largest open uh, mines. Open cast mine. Stop just out of Tauranga, a little place called Kati Kati. Uh, not the not the food capital of the Bay of Plenty. <clears throat> we stopped there to do some washing. And what I'd say about that is um, 
take more underwear than you think you'll actually need on a camper van trip and then don't have somebody get really sick. Okay team, so you might be wondering what are some of the luxuries that you have at home that you don't have when camping in a camper van. So here's luxury number one. Um, it's the humble old toilet, you've got one in your house. And so you know what it's like. Let me just show you just, so you come in, you get to sit down, it's really comfortable. But you know, this is what I mean about room in the toilet. And here is the other part of this discussion, which is your bathroom. You can't even touch the walls. Shower, bath. So that's um, what you do at home, but that's not what us road warriors do. Right now I'm in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna go and pop into the bathroom, which is here. And um, you'll remember the this morning's video. Uh, well, this is me in the toilet and also in the shower. So what you'll learn is you actually, you have to be a contortionist uh, to have a shower. And then also uh, to jump on the toilet. Okay, so the light is fading. We're starting to lose light as we're heading south and east. But we've just gassed up. For those of you that are international viewers, uh, in New Zealand we pay about $1.10 per litre for diesel. And so I know the Americans and uh, Australians that will be looking at this will be going, what? Uh, so that's pretty expensive at the pump. We pay that at the pump. Now that's per litre. And uh, we also have a road user charge system for diesel vehicles. And they also have to pay an additional amount per uh, 1,000 kilometres. We just made it, we uh, got in to Kaha, here we are. And uh, the camp's all getting set up here. And uh, early night tonight, roll on day four.